Hey everyone, Ripley with Bob's Watches. Today we're talking all about the Rolex Turnograph and going over how to use its rotating bezel. Also, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content. The Rolex Turnograph is one of the unsung heroes from the brand's history, and while most people have heard of it before, it rarely gets the recognition it deserves. Launched in 1953, the reference 6202 was the very first Turnograph, and early examples really looked more like a Samariter than anything else, with black dials and black rotating bezels that featured 60-minute scales. Interestingly enough, the Turnograph actually predates the Samariner since the Samariner did not formally become available to the public until the following year. And so it was actually the Turnograph that was the first commercially available Rolex watch to feature a rotating bezel. Now, by the time the second generation of the Turnograph came out, Rolex had made it part of the greater Datejust collection, and while it still had its signature rotating timing bezel, pretty much everything else about the watch had changed. In addition to being offered in both two-tone and solid gold configurations, the entire appearance of the watch was now much more in line with the Datejust than the Samariner as before. The dial more or less followed the same design as the standard Datejust, and as it was now part of the Datejust collection, it had gained a date window at 3 o'clock in addition to the accompanying Cyclops lens on its crystal. Additionally, instead of featuring a bezel with a black aluminum insert, the rotating bezels of these new Turnograph watches were crafted from either yellow or white gold and featured their numerals in relief rather than simply anodized onto their surfaces as before. It was these Datejust Turnograph watches that became famously associated with the Thunderbird Flight Squadron, and some of the examples even featured the Thunderbird's logo on their dials, hence the Thunderbird nickname. Consequently, it was during this second generation that the Turnograph name dropped off the dial, and instead most of these watches featured the same Datejust dial branding as their fixed bezel counterparts. From here, the design of the Rolex Turnograph, or Thunderbird however you want to call it, more or less stayed the same. It was essentially a Datejust with a 60 minute rotating bezel made from either yellow or white gold. However, just like the normal Datejust, the Turnograph evolved over the years to include technologies like a quick set date and sapphire crystal as better materials and movement technologies became available. The next most significant update came in the early 2000s when the Turnograph was given a major makeover that significantly altered its overall appearance. Just like the normal Datejust, the case of the Turnograph had been updated to feature thicker lugs, and its bracelet now included completely solid links and a redesigned clasp. However, the dials of these new Turnograph watches featured the Turnograph name on them in bright red letters, and the seconds hand was also finished in red for an overall sportier appearance. Additionally, as a continuation of the red theme, these Turnograph watches also feature unique date discs with red numerals. Beyond that, the bezels on these Turnograph watches also got a major overhaul with the arrival of this new generation. Rather than having a serrated coin edge style with raised numerals for their 60 minute scales, these new Turnograph watches featured fluted bezels that largely resembled their fixed bezel counterparts, just with engraved 5 minute markings finished in black. It was during this generation that a two-tone Everos model joined the lineup, however by 2011 the Rolex Turnograph had been discontinued entirely and it still remains out of production to this day. Now, as far as how to use the Rolex Turnograph, the internal movements operate the exact same as their standard Datejust counterparts, with the exception of the reference 6202, which does not feature a date display. After unscrewing the crown, you can rotate it to wind your watch, pull it out to the first position to set the date, which only applies to the later era quick set equipped models, and then pull it out once more in order to set the time. In regards to how to use the Turnograph's rotating bezel, all models will function the exact same way, and it's important to note that unlike the bezel on a dive watch, the bezel on a Turnograph will rotate in either direction rather than just counterclockwise. The Turnograph's bezel is designed to measure events up to one hour in length. In order to start timing an event, simply rotate the bezel so that its inverted triangle is pointing to the current position of the minute hand. That inverted triangle represents the zero marker, and as time passes, you simply read the amount of elapsed time by referencing the minute hand's position against the corresponding value on the bezel scale. It's important to note that standard timing bezels can only measure one event at a time, and the duration of that event must be less than 60 minutes, otherwise you'll need to remember to add on the additional number of hours. Today there are now a number of Rolex watches with rotating bezels, however it all started with the Turnograph, and for that reason it will always have a special place in Rolex's history. Thanks for watching our video on the Rolex Turnograph. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on our latest video content.